Traditionally viewed as providing consistent performance and service, the utility industry is being challenged to keep up with a convergence of ongoing trends and developments. So what's in store for the industry in the next three to five years? Smart grid implementation is taking place very much pan-Europe, but it's not clear as yet what the results will be for the customer. Will this help the provider to shave the peaks and give the utilities a better load profile to work with? Will this also improve the out-of-service time by providing timely information to dispatch centres and maybe repair crews? Another key point is digital transformation and it's on the top of many companies' agendas. However, capturing the benefits of digitisation is a tough call for many companies, let alone the power and utilities industry. From grid management to customer relations, an effective digital strategy can revolutionise all areas of the power utility business. It's at the heart of the energy transformation challenge. Most utility executives are digital ambitions, but not being matched by investments. I'm told by some of the summit attendees at the forthcoming NG Utility Summit, there is no budget. There's not even a digital team in place. So where are utilities venturing into the digital offerings? Many of them are relying on smart meter rollouts to aim at the customer services. Many see the smart home as an essential to improve customer relations and some see an opportunity to offer additional benefit and service. Then of course there's smart cities. Most utilities recognise the relevance of a smart city concept but after initial attempts complexity is deterring them from moving quickly. Customer sentiment and behaviour are changing and affecting the value of customer service to a utility and in some ways Changes in customer sentiment are being shaped by the utilities and by being a customer of those utilities. And in a lot of ways, they're being driven by customer experience from other industries, for example, banking, insurance, or even retailing. But the bottom line is that while customers welcome this extra interactivity, they don't want to spend any additional money on it.